Hello and welcome. My name's Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. Today I'm going to use the We Create Lumos to do some color metal engraving. Now when I first reviewed the Lumos, I gave a brief overview of this feature. And in that I did just one color. I am going to show you how to get multiple colors out of this machine on metal and give you my best tips and tricks. So this is a way more in-depth video on color metal engraving with this machine. So if you want to watch my full review of the We Create Lumos, I will link to that in the description below this video. But in this video, we are going to tackle some little stainless steel tags that you could use for a keychain. And I'm going to engrave them with different colors within the We Create Lumos. So first of all, let's head to the software and check out what you need to do first. First, I am going to turn the machine on and you'll want to connect to your device within We Create Make It. Then we're going to want to do a few things. We're going to make sure it's on red light and you're going to pick your material from this drop down. Now, I will say that I had the best luck with stainless steel and I will show you that in a few minutes. And you want to use the button on the side of the machine to focus on the material you're going to use. Now, it's very important that whatever material you're going to use, that you complete all the steps with that exact material. And then I'm going to click the color engraving button and confirm. Now, if you're engraving the same material for like the second, third, fourth time, whatever, you wouldn't have to repeat all these steps. However, the first time you're doing any material, what you want to do is go to Toolbox and then Color Engraving Test. Go to Next. It tells you to manually focus, which we've already done. Go to Next. And I like to do a 30 block count here, but you can try the 10 as well. Go to Next. And it shows you what it's going to engrave on the surface. It is also showing me how large it is and how big it's going to engrave with an outline on the machine. Now this is too big for my material, so you just click it and then you can resize it and you can also move it around to relocate it. The machine will refresh and you can even move your material to where the engraving is completely on your material. Feel free to keep resizing and moving this around until you get it exactly how you want it. Once you have it like you want it, we're gonna close the cover, click send, and click the button on the top of the machine to start the process. Once that's done, you'll just lift the lid and remove the piece. Within We Create, you'll click next step. And now let's look close up at these color IDs. This is the one I just did on stainless steel and you can see all of the colors. And this is a version I did earlier as well. So what you do is to pick the color that you like best. So pick one of the colors and it has a number beside it. Now before we continue with this tutorial, this is on stainless steel and you can see the wide variety of colors that I'm able to get. I did this same process on aluminum. This is my aluminum piece. You can see like it's really just yellows. There's no blues, purples, reds. So the material is a factor here. So let's say I really like 167. I would pick that in the software and go to next step. Now I didn't change anything here for mine, but you can change the column and row numbers as well as the spacing. But I just went to next step. And again, I just resized this and moved it around to make it fit on the piece I want to engrave. And then you just send this to the machine as well and engrave this onto the material. I do want to note here that when you're engraving this grid, you do not touch the focus knob at all. You want to leave it the same. When you pick that color ID of 161, it is going to automatically go to the right focus. The dots may not meet at this time. Once that's engraved, it looks something like this. So it has your speed numbers down one side, power across the bottom, and you can see the wide variety of colors that I'm able to input in order to get color engraving. Now, again, this is on stainless steel. If I was to do aluminum with the same process, I don't get this wide variety of colors. I get shades of yellow, maybe orange. So then I can click import within the WeCreate software and find a file on my computer. So I found an SVG file and it has various layers. So each of these pieces is a layer. Before you turn the color engraving on, go ahead and add your material to the laser and auto focus it so that the dots are overlapping. I'm gonna take a picture of the material that's actually in your laser. Be sure to refresh your screen before you turn color engraving on. Then when you turn the color engraving on, you are going to enter the color ID 
that you picked when you engraved that last grid. So you can see that now that I've entered that color ID, the red and the blue do not overlap anymore. That is okay, we're just gonna leave it the way it is. And then for each of these layers, you will pick them and you will input the power and the speed as well as the line density of whatever color you like. So for instance, this green, I liked the 60% power, 10% speed, and then you do need to change the line density to 300. And I went through for each of these individual elements and input the power, the speed, as well as the line density for every single one. So you want to pick the colors you want. So a shade of orange, a shade of green, a shade of red, a shade of yellow. And of course it doesn't have to be exactly what it shows on the screen. You just pick whatever you like from the grid that you just engraved. Now I will say that it does take a while, especially for all of these layers that are on this file. It's just gonna depend on how detailed your file is, how long it's going to take you to input this. We're ready to engrave, we'll just close the lid and click start. And once that's done engraving, you can just lift the lid and let's take a look at the results. You can see all of the amazing colors I was able to get with this one. So you see yellows, blues, greens, there's some red, a variety of colors that I was able to get with this laser with this technique. There are so many possibilities with this one and I can't wait to do more projects. All that's left to do for this one is to add it to a key ring. So now I have some color metal engraving with the We Create Lumos. Now, this did take me a while to figure out, and the main thing that I wasn't getting with this is that the material makes a huge difference. That means that each type of material will be different. So I showed you stainless versus aluminum. What I didn't show you was like, I tried another aluminum sheet and I feel like it had a coating or something on it and it didn't do well at all. Like I didn't get any colors. So different types of aluminum also were a little different. So I would say be sure that exactly the material you're gonna use for your project that you engrave the grid on it and use those numbers in We Create Make It for the actual project you're gonna do. So that means you will need at least two blanks for every project you're going to do. I really feel like the type of material, the thickness, you know, if the material has a coating on it, maybe like where the material was made might make a difference in your colors. So you will want to make sure to repeat this process every time you have a new blank. So don't just think one blank is going to do it. I would recommend at least two blanks for every one project you wanna get out of this with color engraving. And after my trial and error, I recommend stainless steel for these projects. I had the best luck out of it. I do not recommend aluminum unless you just want yellows, oranges. If you want all the colors, like I showed in this video, stainless steel is definitely the way to go for that bright and vibrant look. So hopefully this helps you add some color to your metal engraving with the We Create Lumos. These instructions are for the We Create Lumos only. And I know that maybe some other lasers are getting this capability, but I don't know if the steps are gonna be exactly the same. So. The steps that I went over are only for the We Create Lumos. Some of the tips and tricks about the certain types of metal might actually be applicable to other lasers as well. I just know my experience and that was with the We Create Lumos. So now, if you have any questions about anything I've covered, drop down in the comment section, ask away. If you liked this video and it helped you, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, head on over to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. I have videos just like this one every single week and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.